This video is sponsored by Bodega Casa Lucio. You've decided that you, you want to invest in properties, in real estate. Um, you've decided you want peace of mind, you want returns, etc. So why Barcelona? Why is this a city? Why, why have you decided to, to go for Barcelona? Because if I understand well, you, you, you have done investments here. You've gone through several investment cycles uh, so far. We're looking out together at, at, at future investments. So what, what, what makes Barcelona so attractive for yeah. you? Well, look, I, there's a, a long version and a very short version to that, to that question. The long version would be a bit more personal uh, aspiration from myself. I lived five years in, in, in Barcelona and I fell, I fell in love with this city. Uh, and, and there was not one day that I didn't like uh, when I was living here. Uh, so, so I hear there's, there's a mix of, of there's certainly a lifestyle element in this, right? You, you just love the city. And then you have the, the long term the long term view on, on, on the investment, which is what we what we what we see with, with many of our investors at in at Inspire Apartments. Um, why do you think that today is a good time to invest? Or why do you think that today in the next years is a good time to invest? Because we've seen um, investments picking up two years ago approximately after the crisis people and mainly foreign foreigners so non-spaniards started to buy again as investments many times people don't use the properties themselves so people like yourself um, why, why do you think it's a, it's a good opportunity at, at, at this moment mm -hmm. well I would say every time era has its has its challenges huh? uh, a couple of years ago it was very interesting to buy real estate in, in Spain or Barcelona because because prices were lower. Uh. Mm -hmm. Today we see that prices are on the rise. Uh. Now why today invest in Barcelona? I think because of the long-term perspective. Uh. I see a quite buoyant real estate market today um, and, and I see lots of, lots of activity in the real estate market and I think with, well first of all it's always about demand and, and, and offer uh. and I see quite a bit of demand coming in the future. I mean that, that, that's in line. We, we, in the previous radio show last week we, we spoke about foreign investors and and we see that since 2009, every single year, there's an increase in the number of foreigners buying in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. um, th that's massive, massive. And um, the, n the numbers keep going up. And people um, people do this for different reasons. Um, some people buy something to live there themselves. Other people to buy something. But if a, as a pierre terre a second resident, something they can go to every now and then. And a third group of people is really the, the pure investor. They buy, they make, they do the numbers. Numbers need to make sense, of course. Um, and they rent out a the place. They, they're not living there themselves. Where, where do you see yourself? In, in which group would you position yourself? Or maybe you're in more than one, maybe there's an overlap, but uh, mm. how, how do you look at, um, at the usage of, of your investment? Yes. Well, of course, when you invest money, like I told before, you want to have return on what you invest. Now, the question is, of course, why then Barcelona? Well, for me, it's more, there's also an emotional link with the city. Huh? Um, that would be one main reason. One main reason. Um, and for me, what is important, I would call it sustainable investment. It's not about just investing and getting the money. Huh? There's, there's, when you read the newspapers, there's quite a bit of, well, people from Barcelona are not that happy. Huh? And there's lots of, quite a bit of criticism on the tourists. Huh? So I think we as investors also have the responsibility to make sure that when we invest in Barcelona, it's not only for ourselves. Uh, so a part of that needs to go back to the city as well. And I would call that sustainable investment uh, uh, or responsible investment. Um, j just a small example. Um, we have, our, uh, we have a, a wonderful place in, 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 in Poblenau and we have a parking lot. Uh, that parking lot, we share it with the neighbor. Uh, when we are not in the apartment, we share it with the neighbor. Uh, so it's just a small thing, but it is it's giving and taking. Uh, so you want to give, you, you give something back to the, to the local yeah. community here? Exactly. I mean, you, you must put yourself in the position of, of your neighbors, of local people. Uh, they accepted me as their neighbor. Uh, and in return, it's a small thing I can do when they have access to my parking. I think it's a very beautiful story and very inspiring for, for other investors. <laughs>